Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. I am here to share with you today um, a new deck that I picked up. I actually picked this up at a, um, a thrift store. It's called the, the Celtic Shaman's Pack. Um, Journeys to the Shaman's Path by John Matthews and the cards are illustrated by uh, Cheska Porter. Um, I, have, I don't think I had anything by them before. I don't remember if I do. Um, these are really cool. So they're used, but I did put them in order to show you guys. Let me see. It's a big box. This is the revised version. I did see that in the book. Um, he changed a couple of things and added a couple of things. I'm not sure exactly what. I wasn't paying too much attention when I was reading. I was just looking through it real quick. Oh, but I'm still having a hard time opening it. Goodness, okay. So it's just a simple box. It's a big box, though. So, I mean, for storage-wise, it's, you know, it takes more space. The book is really nice, actually. The book is brand new. This deck, honestly, is, if it was used once or twice, I'd be surprised. Because it looked like it was in practically brand new condition. So... This is the book. I guess um, the I, I saw this pack in another review, and the woman who did the review said that the book itself is worth the book itself is worth the price of the of the deck because of the of his style of writing, and it's I mean it's pretty it's pretty deep. It's a pretty big book, and it does have a lot of like I pulled one of the cards this morning and pulled it. I just read it. And it was so funny because it was like, it actually had to do with a sow. And it wound up being connecting to another deck that I um, picked earlier, like uh, after, like another card that I picked after. So it all tied in together, which is kind of weird and a little freaky, actually. <laughs> um, so it's a nice book. It's very thick. I guess there's four or five different areas of the way the cards work. I'm not sure how these cards work. I will probably use them just as a regular Oracle deck. Um, but there's, if you look, I'll show you real quick. The back of the cards are really cool. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? She, the artist is Cheska Potter. Cheska? I think that's what her name is. Um, but look at the backs of the decks have different, um, back of the deck of the cards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak today. Forgive me. <laughs> uh, I have different colors, and they tie into uh, the thing that's here in the front of the book here. Uh, the movers, the empowerers, the worlds, the elements, totem beasts, and the shapers. Um, and then there's like spreads in here. This explains... The, the shamanic journey, I guess, walking between worlds and things like that. And then, which I don't really know anything about, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'd love to learn more, but I'm not there yet. And then in the back, it's got the, the readings. How do you do the readings? And there's different layouts. Um, like a bunch of different layouts. And then the Oga, Ogam word list. And, which I believe that's the alphabet, the uh, Celtic alphabet. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Anyway, um, I've noticed in my other videos that uh, my sound is a little low. Sound is low because I talk low. You would know it if you knew me in real life, but apparently in the videos I talk low. So I'm going to try to be a little bit louder. Anyway. So I'm just going to do these real quick for you guys. Um, I hope there's not a lot of glare. The cards themselves, I'll be honest, I don't think they're the best quality. They're nice, but they're they're pretty thin. You're going to have to be really careful if you get this deck. The artwork is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Uh, I love the back. I love the, the, the book and the way it's written. I just think the cards are, I don't know, there's 40 cards here. And uh, it's pretty thin for 40 cards for me. Um, I'm usually very, very careful with my decks, so I'm not going to ruin it. But I, if people who are going to be really hard with their decks, these cards are going to get trashed very quickly. Anyway, so I'm going to show you these and um, go from here. All right, so 
the tree of vision and tradition number one the vision singer the walker between worlds that's a cool card. I love this one. The Wild Man gives me that green man feeling. I love that card. The Fairy Man. The Woodward. Now this one gives me that same feeling. It looks like the green man. Um, I have not looked to see what it means. Lady of the Ways. Look how pretty that is. I love the artwork on these cards. They're beautiful. The Bride of the Waters. Look at her, she's gorgeous. And she's got all the, um, the little swirls there. I love that. The spirals. Uh, the Druid. This card I know, oh, that's one of the things he said in his uh, introduction in the book. This used to be called, I think, the Wizard. And he, he made it into the Druid because he said that's much more closer to the tradition he was bringing forth. Um, Keeper of the Wheel, the Cirrus, beautiful, I love this, the Woman Made of Flowers, um, I believe there's a goddess, Bl Blodwith, Blodwed or something like that, and I believe it is a Celtic goddess, I'm 99% sure, and I'm, she's made of flowers, so I'm assuming this is um, referring to her, although I haven't checked it out. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Oh my God, I love it. I love these colors. The letter, no, I'm sorry, the Keeper of Letters. The Firmament. The Circle of Nine. The Inworld. I love that. The Mound of Wonders. The Colors of the Wind. Oh, I love it. So pretty. The green and the burning tree. Look how awesome that is. How beautiful. I wish she was still painting, but I guess I guess she uh, kind of has left the scene altogether. The well of Sagus. I, I guess that's how you say it. Funny, when I first saw this card, when I first started doing some journeying, this looks like where I've been. It's strange. But it looks like where I've been in some of my journeys. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird that this deck found me. The Salmon. The Stag. The Crane. The Owl. The Crow. The Otter. The Hound. The eagle, the boar, the horse, look how cute he is. I love this one, the cow, I love this one. This is one of my very favorites. I just love it, I love cows. Um, let's see, the father, the mother, the son, the maiden, how beautiful, huh? Colors are gorgeous. The Lady of the Sacred Earth. Lord of the Sea. Lady of the Moon and Stars. Look how stunning these, oh my God, so beautiful. The Lord of the Underworld. Now this reminds me of the, uh, the Great Hunt. Wild Hunt, I'm sorry, the Wild Hunt. That reminds me of that, yep. And the Lady of the Cauldron. This is the card that I had uh, decided I was going to read up on. And it actually relates to Caridwyn and her cauldron and the chicken and the, um, the bee. And how it talks about Taliesent. And it's just, the book is well done. The book talks about the, the, um, the lore, I guess, is what you call it, or the um, the myth, and it's just really well done. Uh, I do like the book a lot. I'm going to read about, up on it a little bit when I get a chance. I mean, I always say that, and then I do, and I read a little bit, and half the time I'm off doing something else. So anyway, like I said, the cards are thin. They are really nice. I got the different colors in the back, but 
if you can find it at a good deal like I did, I didn't pay a lot, buy it. I don't know if I'd pay full price. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'd pay full price after seeing these cards. What is full price? This is printed by Connections Book Publishing. I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, it doesn't say what the full price is. I know they're on Amazon for like maybe $20, something like that. Um, the only thing, like I said, the only reason I probably wouldn't pay the, the full price, it's not the, the beautiful, the cards are stunning. It's the, the thinness of them. To me, they're just very, very, they're going to, these, this is, I don't know what card stock they used. They had gone just a little bit thicker and maybe a different coating on them. I can just see these getting ruined real fast by some people, not me. They're going to be perfect for me. I don't damage my cards, um, but so anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on any further. I'm really not going to read out of the book. The book is very detailed, so I think honestly it probably take too much time. Let me grab the book again. It's stuck in there. I do like that this is fits right in here. It's plastic. Some of them like get bounced around with other um, with other boxes. But with this one, it fits perfectly in there, which is nice. The book, I mean, it's got, um, let's see, let's see if there's one I can read. Oh, let's do this one. The Mound of Wonders. A green mound reveals an arch, uh, arch doorway in its side from which streams forth rays of light as though the sun were rising within it. I'm sorry, guys, I don't have my glasses on. And even though I can see pretty well, I have the camera right in front of me, so it makes it... Like my eyes get a little, um, they start to kind of go sideways a little bit. Um, set is the elements, keyword is empowerment of the earth. I still don't know what that means. Um, I'll just read this little part here. The Mound of Wonders gives access particularly to the realm of earth and the inner earth. It provides a solid foundation from which to begin an exploration of any of the worlds, especially souls that lack, the, lack a strongly grounded, grounded dimension. The card has a marked association with Rhiannon, Arwan, and Ellen. And then it tells you the cards that are associated with that. And then it goes into the lore, which in the... Ma okay, I'm going to murder this word... Mabi Nogin, okay, story of Puil, Prince of Dyfed. I wish they'd put things on how to pronounce these words because I don't want to. I don't want to mess them up. I feel badly. Um, we find the following account, and then it tells you the account of the thing, and then there's also journey. Like you can, he gives you like meditations. I said it's a journey, but it's like a meditation um, where you can go and there was one where it's, uh, that I had just read where it said knock on the door and if it, if it doesn't open just come back later which is that's a good idea um, so that's it that's it you guys thank you thank you for listening if you can get this at a good price I say get it but you'd be very even honestly even if you want to pay full price the cards are gorgeous they're stunning i'm not not saying not to just be very very careful because those cards unless they've redone them they're going to get ruined really fast all right guys thank you so much have a blessed day and let's all let's all try to be kind to each other you know life is too short to just stay angry um, you know with all the insanity going on in the world right now <sighs> honestly Aliens are never going to talk to us if this is how we're going to behave with each other. Uh, blessings to everybody. Thank you and uh, take care. Bye-bye.